several arrests and dozens of tickets over the weekend, even one child endangerment charge. Our Courtney Godfrey has more on law enforcement's latest effort to stop this behavior. Law enforcement say scenes like this one in the North Loop neighborhood of downtown Minneapolis have become far too common. Somebody gonna get hit. <laughs> Watch out. Hot rodders and drag racers often meeting in suburbs like Brooklyn Park, racing down the highway and then moving locations throughout the city. Almost like a flash mob, they pop up um, in a moment's notice. They communicate over social media and by the time we get enough resources in place to deal with it, they move on to the next location. But this past weekend, Minneapolis police got the help they needed to crack down hard. These aren't people joyriding. These are criminals who belong in jail. The Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, along with air support from the state patrol, helped MPD make 62 traffic stops, issue 27 tickets, and while they were at it, arrest four people on active warrants, recover four illegal guns, one stolen car, make seven weapons arrests, and even arrest someone for child endangerment as they had a six year old in their back seat. If you come down here and you cause problems, we're going to find you and uh, we're going to tow your cars and uh, take you to jail. Also arrested, a man investigators call an organizer of this lawlessness, as he's behind social media accounts that tell everyone where to go. According to the sheriff, the Minnesota Freedom Fund posted his bond, and he's already out of jail. And I can't control what happens in the judicial system. I can only happens, uh, control what happens on the street. We have plenty, uh, plenty more arrests to make if need be. Well, Courtney joins us live now. So, Courtney, catching these drivers has been a big problem in the past because they take off quickly. So, how did law enforcement make so many arrests this time around? Well, Kelsey, it really comes down to planning and man manpower. But a big hip hit and help in this situation was the state patrol helicopter. That helicopter was able to follow these cars away from the scene and, in some cases, even follow them to their homes. So, if police didn't make an arrest that night, they now know where they live and they say those people should be expecting warrants being served and maybe even their vehicles being seized. Reporting in downtown Minneapolis, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.